It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers. And it's all up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the L.A. Chargers. Two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway here in Los Angeles. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So the Charger offense making its way out. And at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert, who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Herbert going to go to the air right away. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they told us that he was just going to be a bear to defend, and usually tight ends are, Charles, but he's no exception to that rule. His second catch of the opening possession, and it gets him a first down. Yeah, and they certainly saw something on his earlier reception. He went back and reported what he found, and one of the things about him, He's like a wide receiver to me, Brandon. He has a great sense of space and understanding where defenders are. Yeah, we talk all the time, Charles, and it kind of gets cliche about the hands that he has, but really, it's the truth. They're, they're, for a tight end, some of the best hands in the game. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Here's Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And let me tell you, that wasn't as easy as it looked. Dancing away and moving forward for six yards. 
They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. So second and four from the 22. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. Already, he's top 50 receiving yards in this first quarter. And he's got a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it, and he gets it done. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And the Chargers grab a 7 nothing lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. the touchdown. Here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback Dak Prescott who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And his pass incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They'll throw again. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 39 yards there, a big one. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. 
Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. A second down throw for Prescott. Cooks on the quick slant. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. To the air again, Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. What we hear so often, how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. Fourth down, Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The opening drive, it continues, Charles, to be all pass, and it's working. Now they're on the doorstep of a touchdown here, first and goal. Brandon, because it's working so well, I think the entire playbook is open for them right now. Do you want to run it? Do you want to continue to throw it? Spin the dial. Make your choice. But right now, you like what you're doing in this possession. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Pollard. Touchdown. And there's an offense that didn't panic after getting down early, and with good reason. No better way to silence a home crowd than with a nice, long, sustained drive. And they were able to put one together here and finish with the touchdown run. Now for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied had it each team has scored 7-7 here as the kicks away and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 the Chargers get set to go here for their second drive a long drive last time out for this offense Charles if you remember they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone marched it down the field and a lot of that was through the passing game and partners a former defensive back I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now but let's give credit words too because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air secondary getting picked apart pass by pass Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Is just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. 
On first down, Justin Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And just shutting him off there. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a different long story. night. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. On second down, Eckler. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Herbert operating from the red zone. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the five, here's second and two. Here's Herbert. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Donald Parham, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chargers have taken the lead. You got to figure it out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Dicker down attack on the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive goes eight plays, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. After the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there... Make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly, get a great break on the ball, and able to force that incompletion. 
So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Prescott from the gun. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. kick this one away and the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers let's take it inside his own 40 a 40 yard punt five yards on the return and it'll be Charger football here as they take over the offense for Los Angeles returns to the field well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember Charles drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own but I like the way that they've started the way that they're going about doing things right now they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. That stop for a loss made by Damone Clark from his linebacker spot. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Play action. It's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is going to be incomplete. Finally, this defense makes a stand. They'd given up touchdowns on their first two drives, but here they said, we've got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Kevontae Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Second down, Pollard again. As they've got it as we resume action. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. A great run by Pollard, and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run, and he had his first 1,000-yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. They'll go with Pollard here on first down, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down and eight. Going to run again here with Pollard. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle 
doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities and we just saw it there controlled the line of scrimmage created a big game that's kind of a bonus he's there to protect that high value that you have back under center but he creates space in the run game yeah not only can he dance he can mash too he'll take this to the 46. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll be a gain of five. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line third and two right so this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage but it's not just the low man winning it's the low man who's winning with some force and they had that to pick up the first down barely picking it up but they did first down and it's Pollard again down to about the 37 oh that's a real nice job there by the defensive front they just engaged and held their ground but how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. A second down throw for Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. It'll go down as a gain of six. And now that sets up third and two. to gain the first here. On third down, it's Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They'll run with Pollard. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from the one. Pollard again. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at 14. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And the Chargers offense back out and ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Open man downfield, it's Palmer. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. left off the option. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Second down and six now from the 26. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Chargers have moved out in front. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is now 21-14. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. This drive will start at the 25-yard line. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for the guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now. And they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You know? I'm not good enough to play Stop. in a fantasy Stop game. It. I enjoy watching you. You're an analyst. Do it. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is. And what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. He's on a throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Prescott. Touchdowns on their first 
two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dukes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decided to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance. They're getting off the field. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Getting set to go again here on offense, Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. He's already approaching 100 yards and has the touchdown, I'm sure. On that opposite sideline right now, they're scratching their heads saying, all right, what do we do? And the hard part is, even if you limit him to a short catch, he has that make you miss ability right. to take it for big yardage and put in the end zone again. So trying to blanket him is very difficult, but ultimately, you've got to find a way to put him on the ground, tackle him, and he doesn't make that easy. They're struggling with that so far. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now it's Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Now, that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Try to punch it in with Eckler, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone.
So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw is Prescott. Swing it. Puts it on the carpet. It's out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Third down, it's Prescott. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Now he dumps this off over the middle. So just three yards on the completion there, and that'll make it second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now this throw caught left side, and they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. We've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was gonna get it. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go from the 40. Again, Herbert. A little short pass, this is Everett, and he will have a first down as they're in the field goal range now at the 30. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first and 10, Herbert. Nowhere to turn here, and he's gonna go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. The 
So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Here's Herbert. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Chauncey Golston. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. It was Austin Eckler who was the star of that first half. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 74 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Here's Pollard again. Dances by him. And he's gonna get across midfield and into Charger territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down and three. Off the play fake, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. A big play here for Dallas. 45 yards. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Now here's Pollard, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A touchdown run there from a yard out, and the Cowboys are back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point right down the middle. And they're within seven now at kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away.
And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 24. He'll look to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Gets around him, and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 69 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Eckler's long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season, with 13 touchdowns on the ground. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. A little short pass. This is Everett. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up second down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Well, Parker, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Herbert. And this pass broken up. And the contact, well timed there, and now fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Here we go on fourth, Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. Running on first down, Eckler. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Eckler again. And he fights his way in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler taking it in from four yards out. And the Chargers 
teams are able to widen their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And a lead now up to 14. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. After the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? So the drive's going to start with Pollard, and he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Prescott. And this is incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Prescott from the gun on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. One heck of a third down conversion. 33 yards. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball. I'm about to make a big play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 38 now, here's second down and seven. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 32. 89 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Now a give here to Pollard. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Prescott off play action. This is caught. It's Cooks. Touchdown, Cal. Brandon Cooks, 29 yards. And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? 
look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Extra point attempt to follow here. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So this drive spans seven plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Austin Eckler in the Charger offense reclaims center stage. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And they run the option on second down. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Up the middle with Eckler. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. First down, and they stick with Eckler. He'll take it inside the 25. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Second and seven. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. From the gun, Herbert on third down. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Herbert operating from the red zone. Escaping the pressure right. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And there's a little bit of a case of back to the future because Justin Herbert as a rookie, five rushing touchdowns, three in 2021, and none last year. I think that speaks to his development as a pocket passer and trusting his receivers more and more. 
but in this case, trusted himself and found the end zone. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and the lead now up to 14. So that drives seven plays in length and was polished off by the touchdown run from the 16-yard line. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Cavante Turpin now to return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Prescott looks to throw on first. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. A give to Pollard, running left. There he goes, left side. There he goes again. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, 59 yards. And the Cowboys are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Now you talk about the dominating rushing performances that you and I have seen together. This has got to be right up there. His fourth touchdown run of the game and another long one to boot. And I don't need to ask for a witness because you're right here with me. We are watching this, and we're watching such a performance that it's demoralizing for anyone on defense. You know, it starts out coaches screaming, tackle him, get him. And after that last touchdown, I bet it's pure silence on that side of the ball. Extra point splits the uprights, and they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score of the final play of the third quarter. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he returns this to the 22. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 120 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you've got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Back 
back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Herbert. He'll find Everett there complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Off the play fake to Eckler. It's Herbert. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. There it is, the defense waking up after three plays that hurt them. Finally, they stand up. They have a little pride, too, you know. Three straight first down type plays. Yeah, they wanted to make one stick on their side, didn't they? To the air again, Herbert. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, gonna be a good chance that any attempt is gonna be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. Gonna throw on third down with Herbert. Dancing to his left. And Herbert gonna slide to a stop, and he has a first down. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him and that's why his side is on top. Justin Herbert looking to pass toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Now it's Herbert. He's got his man, it's caught. Touchdown! Trey McKinney from four yards out. And the Chargers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. But that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that can win the game for us. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead now up to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Oh, able to avoid him. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? On first and 10, Prescott. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. 
This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Wide receiver Keenan Allen bringing out the rest of this offense. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. After the turnover, here's Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Herbert now. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they played their responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. First down, Prescott. Flush to his right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Here's second and three. On play action, Prescott. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 30. A good pick up there, 22. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. 
Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and 10. Prescott now. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Play action now. Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. To the air again, Prescott. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. This offense so far on third down, five out of nine thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So very late in the game here, but with that score, some light at the end of the tunnel. There's still hope. Now they look at the score and say, hold on a second. This thing's not over yet. Let's keep battling. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Possession switching back now to the Chargers. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, it's very close, one score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball, said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Here's Eckler to begin the drive to about the 35, second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Yeah, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, 
and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as he's up to the 43. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. On the give, this is Eckler. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Powers through it. And he's able to get this one down to the 40 yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two minute warning. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. It's Eckler again. And he gets it down to the 32. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll go down at the 28. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. give this one to Eckler and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line and now the question everyone's wondering look at the clock late fourth quarter do they put the ball in the air here on third I don't I run the football and I tell my offensive line no leakage up front I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him I don't want any type of an issue but if I am going to throw it quick throw out to the perimeter maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that Normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And hey Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going.